bulging bunions, hardened heels, cracked corns. You might have a pretty face, but you can't run from the fact that you have ugly feet. And pretty pairs of shoes can come with a pretty painful price, which can lead to lifelong foot problems. This summer, are you ready to step out of your comfort zone and treat your feet right? Ladies, we're writing you the shoe prescriptions you need to get your feet in shape by summer. Dr. Rachel standing by with shoe swaps for painful feet. That's right, and joining me now is podiatrist and author of My Feet Are Killing Me, Dr. Suzanne Levine. Welcome to the show. Hi. All right, she's gonna help us out with our feet issues. Absolutely. Now, Angela has had a uh, foot surgery. You had a bunion removed on one foot, but she still has a bunion on the other foot. So talk to us a little bit about what shoes for the summer are gonna be great, because I bet you these hurt. Oh my God, these are killing her. Angela can fill you in their gorgeous, sexy yes. shoes, but look how thin those straps are. And it's the heels are so thin, and it makes her ankle so unstable, and there's so much you pressure. You see how that bunion is kind of jutting out there, Absolutely. putting a lot of pressure on it. So those are the wrong shoes. Okay, so these are the wrong shoes. You thought that maybe they'd been right because they're not. there's no pressure directly on the bunion, but let's talk about the perfect shoe swap. Oh. So what should she be wearing? She should be wearing these shoes. Do you see how thick the straps are? Yes. They're not, but they're also hiding her bunion. And I know you don't want to do your bunion right away. You don't want to have surgery yeah. on it. The heel is much thicker and there's cushioning under the ball of the foot. So those shoes are go-to shoes. Moving right along here now, hammer toes. Tell us a little bit about what hammer toes are, first of all. Okay, well, they're little bumps, okay. Actually, if you think in terms of the hammers of a piano, it's the toes coming up in the air and you develop those horrible looking corns. Yes, and, on uh, the top of your feet. Yes, and also the side of the fifth toes. We usually get those little corns on the fifth toes. Yes. They could be so painful. Well, well, so these look like great shoes. They're covered up. You'd think that these would be perfect. Oh, my God. They look orthopedic. But they are causing a problem, oh. believe it or not. <laughs> she has a corn, actually. Uh, Stephanie corn. has it on her fifth toe. And these are really aggravating those corns. So here she's sacrificing style, and they're still... And causing a problem. And they're still hurting. So you 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 got the orthopedic shoes and no <laughs> no benefit. No benefit. So talk to us a little bit about okay. where where to go from We're here. We're gonna take her and put her in sexy shoes. Look at those shoes. Yeah, these are you sexy. have an open. <laughs> You have the expansive, so it's not going to be hitting that fifth toe. Yes. It, it, her toes are exposed, so they're not rubbing against the tops of the toes, and they really look great. Now, is, those... she, is she going to be embarrassed to show the top of her toes like this? No, because her toes look pretty good, but okay. it's just rubbing against it, and they don't, they actually cover up. They, were, they cover up those, the, the unsightly and really, portion. And really quickly, uh, Dr. Suzanne, while we rewind, we're going to show a, a picture of what a corn looks like. Um, what is a corn exactly? Well, it's actually hard skin that develops. It's like a callus, but it's in a very small area, and it's, it's really localized to the tops of the toes and the sides of the toes. And it's so painful, so painful. All right, well, you're, we're, you're helping us get our summer looks together. And hello, how are you today? I'm fine, thanks. Good, and so you have some feet problems, too, and mostly in your heel, correct? Yes, yes, well, a lot of pain underneath and on the sides, so... Um... Well, her condition really is a heel spur. Okay. Every time she goes from a sitting position to a standing position, she has pain. She's better off with a heel versus a flat shoe. And what we've done is whenever she wears flat shoes, I made a little insert for her to put into the shoe. So that it gives her a little lift? So a little lift her... to take the pressure off the back of the heel. Ah, so flats aren't for everybody. You gotta go with a little bit of a lift. Yeah, exactly. So where are those heels, girl? <laughs> <laughs> And you know what people don't know is the best time to go shoe shopping is midday. Oh. Because of gravity. Shoe shopping. I midday. thought shoe shopping was good any time of the day, but it's <laughs> midday. <laughs> midday is the best time to go shoe shopping. Is that because, because your feet gravity. are a little swollen? Yes. So? Right. So you don't get that rubbing at the end of the day. You know how your feet are killing you, and everybody comes in with these tight shoes by five o'clock. Uh, it's best midday to go shoe shopping. Ladies, lunch break for shoe shopping. <laughs> love I it. love Thank it. Thank you very much, ladies. And we're going to have a link on our website for what these various conditions are, whether it's bunions, corns, or heel spurs, and what footwear may be best for you. That'll be on our website.